Hi, thank you for joining me again. This is a video from this past weekend. On Saturday, I decided to take my family to Napa um, to the Band Windens Garden Center. Um, it is uh, something that I have been wanting to do for a while. Um, and since on Saturday was a nice sunny day, I thought it would be a great opportunity to um, take a day trip down to Napa, California. Um, to visit the Van Winden's Garden Center. It was quite a bit of a long drive. Um, it took us about an hour and 14 minutes to get there from Woodland. And it was a little bit of traffic, kind of when we started getting close to Vacaville through Fairfield. Um, after that, it got easier. Um, a lot of, once we got into Napa, it was a nice little um, scenic routes. Van Winden's Garden Center has an Instagram page. So if you guys live in the area, I really encourage you to follow them on Instagram. Um, they always have a lot of, uh, good information. The people that work there are very, very knowledgeable. Um, and so they also advertise like when they do special events, um, on Saturday, they ended up having a citrus tasting event, which really in is why I really wanted to go on Saturday and kind of took that opportunity, um, to make it a little bit fun for the kids to visit a garden center. And we finally arrived at the Van Winden's Garden Center. Um, it's kind of hidden in a cul-de-sac. Um, from the outside, it kind of looks a little small, but it's actually pretty big. As we entered the garden center, uh, we went straight to uh, their uh, taste uh, tasting table um, and they had all sorts of citrus, a lot of different variety of lemons and oranges. Um, the kids got to taste some of the kumquats because since we just got a tree, they had never had one so they were excited to try. Um, we also saw these Australian finger limes. Uh, which were really interesting and the kids really liked it. So that's kind of the next tree that they want um, is one of those. Some of our favorite lemons that we tried were the Meyer or Mayer lemons. I think it's pronounced Meyer. Um, that was interesting. I've never had a Meyer lemon before. Um, the Buddha Han was also another interesting thing. I've never had that one before. Um, I kind of want to get a Meyer lemon now since I tried it. It's a little sweet, um, but also citrusy like at the end. Uh, so that was really nice to try. Um, and I got to kind of see the difference between like a Eureka lemon, which is a common one, and um, the Meyers. They have a quite a large greenhouse. Um, which had a lot of different trees. Um, all the citrus trees that we were tasting were in there. Um, they had several different types of plants, uh, some camellias, some uh, the lilac vines, which were really beautiful. They had several of those. Here we are um, in the other side of their greenhouse where they have all these shade um, plants. And these are little baby ones um, that I really thought were super cute. And I kind of wanted to get a few, especially that pink one was oh so gorgeous. I really like this topiary by Monrova. It's a rosemary topiary. They had several of these lilac vines, which were absolutely 
gorgeous. I really want one for my yard. Um, I just don't have a home for it, so I did not get one today. Here we are in one of their little stores um, that they have on site. This had a lot of cute garden items. Um, and it's kind of like a little shed on the side. Um, and then they do have like a bigger like main store uh, where you can get a lot more supplies. But these were super cute little birdhouses and a lot of cute gardening things that I just really wanted but I didn't get here are more items from when you walk into their actually like main store uh, front a lot of home decoration things a lot of Easter stuff was out um, they also have a section for like um, different so uh, like potting mixes and uh, more gardening stuff items but I thought all of these things were super cute as we headed outside, the first thing we saw was the succulents. And I got really excited to see succulents because I like to see different varieties um, of the succulents. My hope is to transform some of part of my front yard into a um, succulent tapestry. Um, so I get really excited when I see succulents. We found some strawberries. Um, they have two varieties um, of strawberries. We ended up getting the Seascape uh, because I've heard really good things about it. And so I was really excited to try it. We ended up stopping for lunch at Chick-fil-A um, right before going home. Um, the kids and I really enjoyed our day trip. Uh, it's Van Winden's is definitely a place that I would love to come back again. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like my content. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you.